Hello everybody, this is Tycut, and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over a plugin called Death TP Plus. What this plugin is, is a full featured death plugin which adds a lot more features to dying in Minecraft, such as tombstones, commands, messages, and other things. So first I'm going to show you the messages. Um, I'm going to set my home right here real quick. And then kill myself. So kill, B-R-A and respawn. And then you can see a message, Brandon Hopkins took matters in his own hands. Now that is just one of the messages. There's multiple messages per way of dying. So if I were to go over here and drown, there would be a couple messages of drowning. These messages are configurable and you can add your own. I will show you that later in the video. Now I'm going to go over tombstones. So um, if you don't have a inventory then it will not show up as a chest so I have 64 stone and let's say I die right here now if I go back to home you can see that there will be a chest right here with my items in it and there will be a tombstone right there so I can get my items back just like that and if I die without any items, it won't do the chest, it will just put a tombstone right here. Now these are also configurable, you can make it so it doesn't give a chest, you can make it so uh, it doesn't give a tombstone, you can configure what it says on the tombstone. This is a very, very configurable plugin, which I will also go into later. Now another thing, and the last thing I'm going to be going over for now, is the command. So, if you want to teleport back to your death location, you can use the death TP command, and you're probably wondering why is that added. There's lots of plugins that already have that feature. Um, this allows you to make it so you can charge people items to go back to their death point, or you can charge people money to go back to the, your death point with the vault plugin. So if I use death TP, like I just said, it would take me back to my death location, but you can configure it so people can't do that or it charges them money or items and those both those features are optional so now let's get into well there is a lot more features there's kill streaks multi kills death logs and a lot more but I'm not gonna really get into that right now I will show you the configuration now alright now to get to the configuration of this plugin you just go into your plugins folder and go into the death tp plus folder now in here you'll see everything you'll need first we're going to go into the config and i'm going to talk about the base stuff in there so this is just logging information save log nothing really that involves the game but here's the time map formatting right here this allows you to enable protection systems so if you have lock at you can lock the chests with that and simple things like this now this is the tombstone configuration so you can change this here are the options so you have the name date time and reason so let's just say i wanted to change rip to the reason so i would just put this right here now i can move these around if i want to or totally get rid of them but that's that and there's i'm not going to get into every single one of these due to there is a lot of them now this is the death tp so you can enable those features um, you can enable notify, you can disable death notify worlds, so if I wanted to disable in the nether I would do world underscore nether, just like that, and then that would disable it in the nether. Um, you can show the multi-kill feature, so if you want to show kill streaks, you could do that. You can do the timing for that. Um, death TP cost, this is for if you're using economy and you want to charge people for the um, death TP command, you can configure that right there. Um, you can enable tombstones. All these feet, all the stuff in the config are pretty self-explanatory and there is a lot of things in here. Enable tomb, true, tomb cost, you can charge people for creating a tomb just simple things like that people can create tombs by the way so they can make that their respawn point I forgot to go over that um, so that's that I'm gonna now get into the messages if I go into death messages it has multiple messages per 
kill. So, for example, multi kill. If somebody's on the multi kill, you can designate how the kill amount and what it says when they do that. Um, and there's also kill streak and death streak. You can do what's a good example? Creeper. Um, if a creeper kills you, you can change this. A is the player name. Creeper exploded on. Actually, no. A isn't the player name. This is the player name right here. N. So, A exploded on player name. Creeper. A creeper stuck. Ah, snuck up on player name. A creeper tried to make love with player name. So, all these messages to add a message. For example, if somebody caught on fire, I could add a message like this. I would copy this message so I know I'm getting it right. And then I would make my message. So I'm going to say needs to stop, drop, and roll. And then when somebody dies by fire, it will eventually say their player name needs to stop, drop, and roll. Um, there's a lot more, which I'm not going to get into all of them but it has almost every single way to die in there. You can change the tomb messages so if um, th I think this is the reason but I'm not 100% sure um, so if they die by a block you say, could say boom TMT dynamite and if they fall you can have it say try to fly and love the ground. So that's that. Um, here are your logs, so as you can see, actually is that the logs? That is not the logs, here's your logs. And then it will show the deaths of people, and as you can see it says Brent Hopkins death suicide 20. So that is the time I killed myself. These are where it saves data. Um, as you can see it shows my last tombstone here. And it does it for every single world. Now kill streaks, all the kill streak data goes in here, and I think that's about it. Um, if I'm missing anything, all the information will be on the bucket dev page or wherever the plugin author designates it. So that is that. I hope you have a good day. I hope this video has helped you out with this plugin in some sort of way, and goodbye.